For Dr. Thomas Friss, Jr., it all began with an observation, an idea, a calling to care for others. One thing you can say about Thomas Friss, Jr., as we call him Tommy, is that when he gets his mind set to something, he, he keeps at it. He's a very goal-oriented person. So while in the Air Force as a flight surgeon in the 60s, he began mulling around an idea of setting up hospitals and to use the economies of scale. Now, Tommy at the time was quite young, and so he knew that he would need help. And that's where his father uh, came in, a person who embodied great compassion, great dedication to the care of the patient, but also in great innovation. Tommy believed other communities beyond Nashville needed the kind of care and values his father practiced. He knew if they established that culture in hospitals across the country, they could change the way healthcare was delivered in the United States. Culture is your best strategy, and I think Tommy and his father saw that right from the beginning, to have a good culture of wanting to help people and to do the right thing by the patient. The innate culture at HCA, I think, is really a strong testimony to Tommy Friss concept of what this company should be, that we're committed to patient care at the highest level. We treat our uh, colleagues with respect and dignity, and you have to live that. You can't just talk about it, you've got to live that. And Tommy absolutely has lived that through his whole career. Tommy's um, character really infused the culture of HCA. I think he's done that through uh, leading by example. And you think about Tommy's character in terms of honesty and integrity and fairness and how he conducts business and his personal style of treating everyone with dignity. Uh, and those characteristics, just part of the fabric and culture of HCA and has been for decades. He has the biggest heart of anybody. I mean, it's, his father did too, his mother did too. His family does. He was raised, his whole family was raised to give back. He didn't require us uh, or even necessarily ask us, but by example, uh, he would basically encourage you to give back to the community in whatever way you could. If you could do it financially, great. If you could do it by giving some hours somewhere. He had the idea of setting up the De Tocqueville Society which is a society of, of individuals that contribute $10,000 to United Way. And he started that with phone calls to area executives in Nashville. And from that Alpha chapter in Nashville, the De Tocqueville Society has grown to a global organization today that has raised over $8 billion for global communities. That to me is inspirational and that to me is the most impressive example of Tommy's community service. And he also surrounded himself with good people. I mean, his dad was known for good people beget good people. Well, Tommy lived it. I think Tommy has always been a person you could turn to in your darkest hour and you can count on him giving you his very best effort. He is a philanthropist of the highest order. He is and continues to be a remarkable human being. Dr. Frist Jr.'s character continues to shape the culture of HCA healthcare. It is only fitting that HCA's highest honor, the Awards of Distinction, recognize those qualities Dr. Frist Jr. exemplifies. Compassion, innovation, generosity, and humility. HCA was founded on the values of the Frist family. Their calling to care remains with us today.